he was sharing the ball tonight and, and doing his thing, you know, just working his way in. I know next game he's going to come out and be, you know, the mamba. Nick, you got Cadley on rebounded by a pretty small team, so to speak. Does that bother you guys? Uh, not too much. I didn't even pay attention to that. I think, you know, they shoot a lot of threes and get a lot of long balls and all that. So, um, But overall, I think we pretty much handled it. We did all right. As a team, you guys shot over 50% and about 60% from three-point range, and you lost. And that's, that's just kind of a strange anomaly, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it, it always comes down to the, you know, the last, the, the fourth quarter or, the, or the, the beginning of the third for us. You guys will crack it. I mean, there's been a lot of games you're right there in the last six minutes or so. And it just doesn't happen. Yeah, uh, I pretty much think we we got to crack it. You know, we can't get hope and wait. I think it got to happen. And um, I'm glad we're still fighting. Everybody's still fighting. We still believe in each other. And uh, it shows out there. Was this by design in terms of Kobe passing more, especially down the stretch to you in particular? <laughs> no, I didn't. You know, I didn't. That just was him, you know, today. Uh, does, that, does that give you extra confidence knowing that he's trusting you with the game on the line? Oh, yeah, most definitely. And to have, you know, Kobe's been one of my, been my favorite players since growing up. And to have him talking to me and telling me, you know, to come get the ball when he's out there, that's all-time confidence.